Yo, what is up guys? Face here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and today I'm going to be going over the VK7201 K, a tier 10 German super heavy that is just absolutely crazy in update 10.3. If you didn't know, update 10.3 has just dropped which means a lot of different changes for tier 10 vehicles and currently today the VK72 is probably one of the best heavy tanks outright right now in the game. Now I'm saying this very boldly because I honestly think that this vehicle is crazy good right now. Now if you didn't know the vehicle did end up getting improved suspension which Japanese heavy tanks have had for quite a while. However it does not get that improved gun depression so if you do have your VK72 in your garage I, I would definitely suggest you to not run improved optics and then rather run the improved suspension because obviously it gives you that boost in your hull turn rate which makes this vehicle a lot more mobile than it used to be. Provisions wise you can still run the exact same provisions as you used to run like nothing was really changed in provisions and as well as on your consumables because this vehicle did not lose its tanks and rounds. Now if we can quickly look over the armor of the vehicle this vehicle supposedly got an increase to its armor however you won't really see the difference in game and it's nothing serious to the fact that you're going to bounce any shells. This is currently the VK-72 being shot at by another VK-72. This is it using calibrated shells. So as you can see that lower plate is a very easy pen even with AP if your VK-72 is running calibrated shells. You can also still pen the side skirts but not as easily as you used to be able to. However as soon as you switch up to heat rounds, yeah the side skirts of this vehicle are still extremely weak. As you can see previously you could pen this outer skirt here but you cannot currently pen that. So Currently, you can only pin this thin little slit here as well as around the guns over here and this lower plate. If you over angle, obviously this piece over here is still very weak and as well as this. So the tank is still not as good as side scraping as something like the VK90, but that increase in mobility means that you can swerve side to side a lot easier, making that lower plate a harder thing to hit. Obviously, if you're running calibrated shells, and using heat shooting at the at the VK-72, you're going to pen very easily, re regardless if you're going to be moving in and out very effectively. The increased armor that the tank supposedly got is definitely nothing you're going to really notice. So let's take this new and updated puppy, VK-72, to a battle. First battle here is the Himmelsdorf. This is a fantastic map for the VK-72 because it's very close quarters and it also has a lot of cover for the VK-72. Now, the VK-72, I'm upright going to say it's one of the best heavy tanks right now. You have a lot of mobility. It feels like the tier 9 VK-45 and it makes it that you can bounce a lot of shells very easily and you're not feeling like you're stuck at the back of the map. The tank's gun also got kind of nerfed basically because instead of having a 640 alpha gun it now has a 600 alpha gun which means you don't hit as hard you still have that tungsten rounds to still do the damage but you're not going to hit as many shells but because your alpha is lower you have better accuracy and you have a quicker reload so in my opinion it is not a bad thing that this tank received as you can see we can easily snap shots now into enemy players like that VK-72's lower plate. He ends up bouncing me and as you can see the mobility allowing me to just pull forward using that great acceleration that the vehicle now has to just get into line here and clear this VK-72. That is how quickly you can just deal with players with this vehicle. Hopefully we don't get shot by this E100. The, the E100 actually has received an alpha increase so it instead of having 640 alpha it now actually has 680 which means he hits a lot harder than me but i does mean that i also reload a lot sooner than him which means that we can put another shot into him a lot sooner and we can use that great mobility to get out of here before he reloads his incredibly long reload shell so yeah there's a lot of things good about this vehicle now now that the fact that you have a lot more uh maneuverability means that you can get into the positions that you need to get into and that increase in or that decrease in alpha means that you have a quicker reload than most other high alpha vehicles like this tank and it also means that you can do a lot of damage very quickly 471 damage yeah it still hits quite hard 471 is definitely not how hard it used to hit and it is something that you do miss from the tank you're not definitely not going to hit as hard as you used to and that player is dead already wow okay that t100 lt actually amarak that t57 unfortunately which means we don't actually get to get any more damage out there but as you can see that maneuverability means that i can actually get to the positions when i need to now that the fact that i see the enemy team rushing our spawn i can react to it in time enough so that i can actually get to the fight chair and do damage before my team actually nukes everybody here 
And this is something you used to never be able to do with the Object 268 because it was just, or the VK-72 I should say, uh, because it was just so damn slow. Even with HE I can still do upwards of 800 damage and that was a very quick game. As you can see that mobility allows this vehicle to be so much more versatile where that you can actually act almost like an IS-7. You're definitely not as fast as an IS-7 but you feel like a 60 TP on steroids. Obviously the 60 TP has a better offer into this update but the VK-72, I don't know what to say about it. It's just extremely strong and if you don't have this vehicle already I would highly and if you don't highly, and if you guys don't already have this vehicle, I highly suggest you to get it. It is definitely one of the best heavy tanks right now in the game. Even though there are tanks like the T96, Mouse, E100, and AMX M4 MLE that have all gotten very good buffs, like the IS-4 is IS-7 as well. The VK-72 tops the chart in all avenues right now. It has a lot of armor, a lot of alpha, it has very decent mobility for the amount of armor it does have, and the amount of armament it has. So... Definitely suggest you guys to get it. It is one of my favorite heavy tanks right now at this point. Obviously, the T95E6 is not a heavy tank to heart. This is one of the best super heavies in the game right now. I definitely suggest you guys to get it. Definitely a great choice to pick in update 10.3, but I'm very curious to what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below or in my Discord server. There will be a link to join that in the description of this video. Anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Hope your shells hit their marks, and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.